Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first video to announce a brand new series looking at HTX, specifically designed for those of you that are relatively new to HTX. Maybe you're coming into the hobby and you've got one of your first radios, or maybe you're coming to an HTX radio from one of the other manufacturers like FreeSky, Spectrum, or someone like that. Now, the HTX system and its predecessor, OpenTX, has been around for a very long time. In fact, I've personally been making videos on this stuff for well over 10 years at this point. So nothing that in, is in this series is stuff that I haven't already covered. However, I was wondering whether or not there was need for a modern series. HTX 2.11 is out as I'm recording this right now. And I asked you, my viewers, if that was something you'd be interested in. And there was a fantastic response, much, much more positive than I thought it would be. So a massive thank you to all of you who expressed an interest in getting involved in this. And I'm going to be adding videos to it and answering questions over the next two or three months as all these videos come out. Now, as I already mentioned, the aim of this series is to help a beginner get to grips with how to do simple things like navigate the radio, but also to cover the main features of functionality that's in the HTX system without getting overwhelmed. The vast majority of pilots that I know only use a very small subset of the HTX menus, despite there being so many of them and they're looking very, very complicated. So I'm going to talk about the simple stuff at the start of this playlist. And as you go through, the topics are going to get more and more sophisticated. So if you start watching the videos and you get to a point where you now know everything you need to know to set up the radio and use it with the models that you have, whether that's a car, boat, plane, wing, quad, VTOL aircraft, whatever it is, then that's the point where you can stop. However, if you continue in the playlist, you might actually find out things, cool stuff you can do with HTX that you never even knew the radio was capable of. Now, I'll be using two radios in this particular system. The first one is the RadioMaster TX16S, which an awful lot of pilots use. It has a large, big color touchscreen, which makes it great and easy to show things on. And also, I will be showing how to navigate HTX on a GX12. That's a very modern black and white radio where the navigation isn't as intuitive. You don't just click the screen, you use the scroll buttons and wheels, and I'll show the navigation on both of those to make it easier. Now, the cool thing with this is that I'm going to cover all the different parts of the radio. Quad pilots tend to use a very, very small subset of the radio. Wing and plane pilots who are not using flight controllers use an awful lot more of those features. And I'm going to cover everything, not just the stuff that quad guys and girls need. So if you are a pilot that has gliders or fixed wing models and you don't use a lot of flight controller stuff, then brilliant. You still going to be able to watch this series, get to the end and know how to set up the stuff that you want to play with. A couple of quick comments before I shut up and then the playlist can start in the coming week. There is always more than one way to do something in HTX and uh, there are lots of pilots who have very dearly held opinions about the best way to do it. I've put a lot of thought into thinking about the best way to show you how to do things like reverse a channel, how to change your rates and those kind of things. Standard stuff, add expo, where you would ex add expo. Because you can actually add expo and change the rates and even reverse channel in two, three, sometimes even four places. However, there are some best practice ways to do it. And using my experience now, having used the system for well over 10 years, I'm going to teach you the way that will be a solid foundation. So even if you get more complicated with your setups, you're not going to find that you're doing it in a way that you have to unpick in order to get the radio to work in the way that you want. Now, as I said at the start of this video, I've pretty much covered everything that Open and HTX do at this point. I've made literally hundreds of videos on it. I'm going to put links down below to these other playlists. And if you want to find out something really funky, like how to modify something that isn't covered in this series that's specifically aimed at beginners, 
I'm pretty confident that there's going to be something on the channel that is can sort you out and give you the answer. So if you're looking for something or you find something or you like something in one of the videos, uh, if you just search for whatever it is you're looking for and add the two words Edge TX and Painless 360, you'll probably find one of the existing videos that I've already shot. However, I will put links, as I said, to those other playlists down below. So if you want to really get into the weeds with STX and learn some really cool and more advanced stuff, then that is available for you too. So I'm going to shut up now. Links down below to this playlist. Best of luck on your journey with STX. It can be a little bit confusing at first, but I'll try and make it as easy as possible. And when you master the basics, it's a fantastic operating system. And there's a reason it's become the default choice for a huge part of the hobby. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.